In today's video, we're gonna be talking about topography and I have a fun little trick for you to remember it. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Ronnie Ocampo. On this channel, we talk all things wildland firefighting from health and fitness, fire education, mental health, and everything in between. So if you're interested in wildland firefighting, I highly suggest you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you guys know when I upload. We just finished up a series on passive streams of income, which I highly suggest you should go check that out. But it's been a while since we've done any fire education videos, so I figured let's just talk about topography today. If you have done any kind of land nav or if you're in the military, you already know this trick. But when I started out doing firefighting, I didn't know this, so hopefully this helps somebody out there. You're going to use your fist. Now we have to define what is topography, so that is natural or artificial physical features. So this will be our mountain. So this is our natural physical feature. Running right along here, the top part of here would be your ridge line. The tops of your knuckles is your hilltops. In between right here, this little divot right here would be a saddle. And this right here, this sheer drop off would be your cliff. Now from the top of the hill running down, this is a spur. And then from the top of the saddle, down is a either draw or chimney. So when you're fighting fire, you definitely do not want to be in here because one, it is going to cure your fuel. So it's going to have hot, dry air coming up in here, which is drying and heating your fuels. So it's going, once the fire gets here, it's going to be ready to burn. Plus it is really, really steep right up in here. So even if you're far away, it may not look that steep, but once you get right down here, you're gonna be looking up and it's gonna be chalked full of fuel that's just ready to burn. And it's just going to funnel it straight up so the fire is going to run right up there. I'm actually gonna insert a picture right here. My mom sent me this picture of a fire that was in Idaho and you can see exactly what the fire did. It just went straight up those draws. Also, you can cup your hand like this, and this would be a depression. So say you have flat ground like this, any hole or divot in the ground, that's going to be a depression. And then also you can use this to mark your valleys, but a valley is just basically you have two mountain ranges and that land in between is a valley. A few other things that you're going to want to think about that are going to affect your fire is the aspect. So which side of the mountain is your fire on is on the south side which gets more direct sunlight so it's going to have typically more fuels which would be nice and warm and ready to burn or is it on the north side which has less direct sunlight and less fuels it's still going to burn but not as much as the south side would you're going to think about the elevation how steep is your mountain and then also the slope so what is the angle at which your slope is is, is it pretty level is it pretty steep? You have to think about that as well. I think a really great exercise that you can do to help you grow as a wildland firefighter is when you're out driving around to say, hey, if a fire started right here, what would it do? Now to not overwhelm yourself, I would start with one factor, topography. Are you looking in a mountain range? Are you looking out on the flat lands? Where is your fire at? And then you can start adding in factors like fuel, weather, time of day, things like that. So this really will help you gain situational awareness. It's really going to help you grow as a wildland firefighter. And I really think if you're going to stay in this job as a career, having this situational awareness and this exercise is really going to help you grow. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are checking down the description. I have tons of resources for you guys. Let me know, did you already know this little hand trick? If not, I really hope this helps you in the future and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.